Welcome. If you're looking to break through your limited beliefs, birth your purpose, and live a life beyond your wildest dreams, this podcast is for you. Hi, I'm Dr. Aaron. I'm a doctor of divinity, new thought minister, founder of Soul Society, TV host, global transformational speaker, and the author of the international best-selling book, Awakening. Soul Society is the number one spiritual community committed to empowerment, enlightenment, and entrepreneurship. We truly believe that when someone awakens, they have a gift and message to bring to the world. The intention of this podcast is to assist you in awakening to your divinity, discovering your life purpose, and manifesting your dreams. I hope you enjoyed today's episode, and may you live your truth. Welcome to the very, very first daily prayer call for Soul Society Inner Circle. This is all about getting our truth bomb together so we can get our mind right and rise together as a community. So it was less than two weeks ago when all this news began to really, really intensify. And I remember there was an actual moment where I was having a lot of phone calls from all kinds of friends. I had just gotten off the call with my mom and emails were coming in of different things from saying this is, you know, warfare to this is a hoax to this is the world crumbling to on and on and on. And I remember having a flashback to 2008 when the same crisis was going down economically. So I immediately knew what is the right thing to do, and I immediately went into prayer and meditation. I lit the candle on my table that I use every day where I have my daily spiritual practice. And I literally began to just go within, and I went from feeling a little bit discorded to complete bliss in that moment. And I remember going back to 2008, and at that point in time, my mind was not as powerful and as strong as it is today. And so today, I want to talk to you about the solution to all problems. That's right, the solution to all problems. So in that moment, in that meditation, I sat in that meditation for quite some time, just allowing the intelligence to stream through my body, to reinform every single cell of my body, and to connect my DNA into its true form, getting downloads and understanding the answer to this problem. So today we're looking at a pandemic, we're looking at economical suicide right now as far as i'm concerned for the country as far as if we don't get our mind right and we don't do take into action taking back our power and i want to recognize that this is nothing new that we literally have had economical crises every single 10 years we're actually due for one this is so predictable we've had so many crises over the years from 9 11 to 2008 to SARS, to multiple things. This is nothing new. And in this, whether you believe this is real or a, you know, a Ponzi scheme, not a Ponzi scheme, but a scheme of the government or the world, you know, whatever that is, I know this, there is only one solvent to all problems. And that's what we're going to know the truth around today. There is a power, there's an infinite, infinite source that lives and breathes as us, as you, as me. There's an infinite, infinite intelligence that is more powerful than anything on this planet, and it is truth. It's consciousness. It's divine. It's God. And I recognize right here, right now, that that is the solvent. The solvent is wisdom. The solvent is consciousness. The solvent is love. The consciousness that is within all of us at all points in time. You know, Emma Curtis Hopkins, one of the greatest teachers in the New Thought lineage and metaphysics, who actually, really, she taught all the great masters. She taught the Fillmore's that started Unity. She taught Emma, uh, Ernest Holmes, who started Science of Mind. She taught all the divine science ladies. She had a quote, and maybe it's not her quote, I'm sure it came from somebody else. But, there is no evil, she said. There is no evil. So we have to define what really is going on, right? If it's all God and it's all good, how can this be good? Evil, if you go to the etymology of the original etymology, evil is out of bounds. That's the definition, okay? The 
we have to get clear of what we're dealing with. And it is that there's out of bounds that we all get to have our own unique expression and we get to hold our own boundaries. So our job is to awaken to the truth and set boundaries for ourselves and for other and open our mind up to the truth. I invite each and every one of you to think that we do not need money. We do not need money to have prosperity. I invite each and every one of you today to serve at least a minimum of one person. If you can give them something, if you can support them, maybe you have money, you can send them a meal, you can do whatever it is. You can exchange services. There are many, many ways of creating abundance and flow. It's called the law of circulation. The law of circulation is a giving and receiving of what is going on. And it is not about getting at this point in time, it's about giving and getting in the flow. The currency of life is a current. And if you turn off that faucet, it's going to stop the flow. It is our job to turn back on that faucet and recognize that we are a currency of love, of growth, of prosperity, and we can exchange all kinds of things without the actual dollar bill. Okay. So I have to think that we have to really recognize right here, right now, what is going on. I remember as a little girl, I had to, I was really confused because if you, I looked out to the world and I thought this doesn't add add up none of this adds up and i never will forget i had these two the friends their mother and father were getting a divorce when i was a little girl and i remember going over to their house and literally you walked in the house and on the right hand side up they had like this living room that was kind of up a few stairs and up there there was this this living room that was painted purple their mother had gone inside uh, and she had decided she was going to become spiritual. And instead of getting divorced and moving out of the house, they thought that she'd stay in the house and get and just paint the living room purple. And she lived in the living room. And on the other side of the house, literally to the left, was where the bedrooms were. And their father, who was an alcoholic, would, would get drunk each night and go pass out on his bed to the left, down the hall to his room. And up on the stairs on the right were the mother in the purple you know, living room chanting. And I thought, well, that I don't relate to either of those. One person's checked out through alcohol, and one person checked out through spirituality. And look, there's all kinds of spiritual paths. I get it. But in that moment, I recognized, I began to ask, what is it? What is it that is our true path? And so I am here to come each day on this call to know the truth and to teach universal law, the distinction that help us solve the problem which is truth wisdom love and consciousness which is not checking out but is checking in fully with our voice with community with rising up all together and so in this moment i invite each and every one of you to take a deep breath in through your nose and exhaling out through your mouth inhaling again through your nose and exhaling out through your mouth. We believe, we believe there is one power in the universe and it is love. It is divine, it is consciousness, it is wisdom, it is the backing of all energy. It is the true you, it's the I am. The living spirit almighty, which is you, your true identity. The true work is to release everything that you are not and rise up today in the truth of who you are, pivoting and moving and creating something new is being born. This is the breakdown for the breakthrough. This spirit almighty, one indestructible, absolute and self-existent cause, the first cause, the only cause. Spirituality is the reality that everything comes from spirit. This one, this one, one, one manifests itself in and through all creation, but it's not absorbed by its creation. You can never be the, the effect because you always have choice. You always have choice. You always can create something new. You always can innovate. The manifest universe is the body of spirit. It is the logical and necessary outcome of the infinite, infinite self-knowingness of perfection of love. The greatest work you can do right now is go within and know thyself. Know thyself and all things are done unto you. You know, the kingdom of God, seek the kingdom of God and everything else is done unto you. You are the kingdom of God. It is not a man in the sky. It is your true self. 
we believe in the individualization of the spirit in us and that all people are the individual and spirit, the microcosm and the macrocosm, experiencing being divided but eternally divine. We believe in the eternality, the immortality and continue, continue, continuity of the individual soul forever and ever expanding. We believe. We believe that heaven is within us and that we experience it to the degree that we become conscious of it. We believe the ultimate goal of life is to be completely free from all discord of every nature and that this goal is sure to be obtained by all through our conscious awakening. We believe in the unity of all of life and the highest God and innermost God. And if you don't like the word God, you don't have to, you don't have to like it. It actually was not the original word in the original Bible that was made by the Germans in the, sorry, the Greeks. Okay. God is not the original word. The original word is, is Elohim, is Yahweh, is yes, wow. Yes, 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 yes. L, L, L. So it doesn't matter if you believe God or not. It's not some man in the sky. It is your true essence. That, that connects all of us. We believe in the direct revelation of truth through our intuitive and spiritual nature and that everyone and anyone may become a revealer of truth who lives in close contact with the indwelling presence. We believe that the universal spirit operates through a universal mind and that we surround by, we're surrounded. We're surrounded by this creative medium which receives direct impress of our thoughts and acts upon it. The truth is that your DNA has the code for all miracles. It's your job to turn them on, turn it off, right? You up level and down level the chromosomes within your DNA. All miracles live in you as you, you just forgot. Furthermore, to the extent we align with universal law is the extent to which we experience our divinity. We believe in the healing of the sick and control of conditions through the power of mind. This one mind is the unity of the individual consciousness, the collective consciousness, and the cosmic consciousness. We believe in eternal goodness, the eternal loving kindness, and the eternal givingness, and the entire universe as us. And so in this knowingness, I say yes, yes, yes. I simply say yes, as together we say, and so it is. Thank you for tuning in to Soul Society and Dr. Aaron Podcast. If you've had a calling to be a spiritual leader or coach, you can go to soulsociety.com and check out our free training. If you've received value here, I would love it if you take a moment and give a five-star review. In exchange, I have a ton of free gifts for you. Grab your free awakening book, 40 guided meditations, and digital manifesting masterclass. I also have a free money meditation and worksheet for you so you can begin to break through your scarcity mindset and claim your birthright of prosperity. You can get all of your gifts and learn about our upcoming transformational events in my bio link in both Instagram and Facebook. That's under drerin.tv, which is D-R-E-R-I-N.tv. Also, I'd love to invite you into our free private community on Facebook under groups called Soul Society. That is facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash soul society. That's S-O-U-L-C-I-E-T-E. Have a divine day and may you live your truth.